if you're new to AI based applications, then you're bound to run into Pinecone or some other vector database um, at some point. And so uh, Pinecone was the first vector database that I got familiar with. Um, they've got some pretty good marketing, they've raised a lot of money. And um, so as I was trying to create a Squarespace Guru a couple of months ago, I discovered that, okay, I'm going to need to use a vector database to uh, store and retrieve these embeddings or the context that I want the app to be able to reference. Um, and so I, I signed up, pretty easy to sign up. Uh, it's pretty easy to use. And but because I'm kind of new to this whole space and the way the pricing page was at the time, uh, I ended up running up a, a big bill um, that first month because I didn't realize that for each index that I created that I was going to get like that I was getting billed per I think like per hour or something like that. Um, and so I was typically just used to like monthly straight up monthly billing. Right. So. <clears throat> to get a bill uh, that was so high was was kind of shocking, but I reached out to them on Twitter or or their support, and uh, they were actually very favorable in um, reducing that bill um, just based off of kind of just not <laughs> knowing what I was doing. Um, but anyway, now that I, I do have a better understanding, uh, if you're just starting out, then just start with one single uh, index <clears throat> and then you can use like namespaces or there, there are different ways to, to um, kind of break that index up for, for different purposes. Now, as an alternative, um, I was working on another project recently and I decided to try Chroma um, database. Let's see if this is a link. Yeah, decided to try Chroma. And um, not only is it free, um, but uh, I didn't need like a, an API or an, or an account or anything. So again, I'm new to this. So um, I'm going to be in the next couple of days moving my, uh, my database from Pinecone to like a self-hosted Chroma situation. Um, so as I figure out that self-hosted scenario, I will update you. But for small like for small databases uh you can just use you can just use this uh um lang chain abstraction with chroma uh it works really well it's only a few lines of code and um yeah so i would definitely recommend chroma as an alternative and this is what i'm going to be uh using next and uh, when I do make that change, I'll I'll make a new video to kind of walk through that process of uh, doing your own like self-hosted Chroma thing, because like I said, right now, <laughs> right now I don't know, but um, I will. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, Pinecone is great, um, but just don't go crazy creating a whole bunch of indexes, testing stuff because it will it will cost you. All right.